we were fly cutting some aluminum with this fly cutter that we made and it kind of just stopped and you could tell a gear was stripped. So if we lift this off up here, sure enough, you can see this gear right here is snapped. So maybe we'll be able to fix this. You can get them on actually grizzly.com. Grizzly makes the exact same milling machine. This is Harbor Freight, but they're all exactly the same. You can get this gear. It's about a dollar for the gear, but $10 shipping. So it's about $11 if you actually wanted to buy the replacement gear. So we'll give it a shot trying to fix it, but if we can't, we'll have to order to it. To get the gear off, it's just a Phillips screwdriver. And then once you get that out, you can take the gear off. Now with the gear or the screw off, we can just lightly and carefully pry the gear off with like a flathead screwdriver. It's just coming off slowly, but it is coming off because we don't want to break it now. And there we go. We're gonna start wiping away some of the grease and none of the teeth themselves are actually damaged, it just cracked. Now we know epoxy won't work, it won't stick to the plastic. So we're going to try plastic welding it together and then hopefully that'll work like with a soldering iron. And then we'll spray a little bit of brake cleaner on it just to make sure we have all the grease gone. Now we can put this back together and push that into place and get it ready for plastic welding now that everything is all clean. Now it can be pretty hard to see the crack, but just plastic weld it together, just like we've done before, until it's nice and sturdy and we can reinstall it on the mill. Just make sure you use a lot of heat and really just weld the plastic together. Now we'll go ahead and weld up the other side. We took some of the plastic from the ribs around it and really filled in there. Now we're just kind of smoothing it out and it sure looks like it's gonna be a pretty strong bond. Now we've fused it as deep as we could go. Now we're just trimming the teeth out so everything will mesh just like it did before. So now we can go ahead and put this back on. Now, since these are about a dollar a year and there is $10 shipping, we're probably just gonna pick up five or 10 of these, but at least it'll, this will get us through today. And I guess the gear being plastic kind of can help. Sometimes you won't like destroy your motor. The gear could actually be destroyed rather than the motor, which is about $250. Now with a little bit of grease back on the gear, we're, we can go ahead and put this screw back in and that'll hold the gear right on. You can see this gear kind of engages everything. It's actually not touching this spindle here. It's kind of going down into the whole gearbox. Deck. You can see on here, this is a metal gear, the actual drive gear. So we can go ahead and put this back on just like that. And then make sure everything's engaged and then we can screw it back together. Now we can go ahead and put in the Allen screws here. And first I'll just go through and kind of tighten everything. Then I'll go back through and torque it. I really like the Allen wrenches with the ball on the end of them. So you can go at a little bit of an angle and it'll still tighten the uh, screws just like it's straight on. That helps a lot, just to have that little bit of wiggle. And now we'll just tighten these up. Not like crazy tight, but just to keep everything together. Now we can go ahead and take off the fly cutter here. And we definitely won't be using this as much unless we have a bunch of spare gears. So now we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the collet and then we can just loosen that up and be a little tight. There we go. And then the fly cutter should come right out. And we can put in the bit that we need. Now I'm gonna put this four center bit into the 3 8 collet. 
and we'll put this back in. And what I'm actually using this for is to drill a hole through this pen blank here, and then I'll be able to turn it on the lathe and make it into a really nice pen. This is some rosewood that we got from outside. And now we'll go ahead and tighten up the collet and see how our fix on the gear worked. Use this tool here, just like that. Now that's all tight. And I don't have it grabbing too much on here because I need as much length of the forcener as I can, but since I'm drilling wood, it's plenty securely put in there. So I think I have the gears all engaged and we'll see if this thing spins. Look, good. <laughs> so now I have just about everything all lined up on this blank. So let's go ahead and lock in the positions here with these knobs and go ahead and see if that fix worked. bottoming out right there. Not sure if I'm all the way through. I'll check it here. I need to go just a little bit farther. It's really close. So I'll just try moving the blank up. So now let's loosen up the vise a little bit and slide the blank back up and tighten it. Just make sure you have it re-centered with the drill bit. Right there. Looks like it's pretty centered, it's good enough, and it'll be straight. So let's go ahead and drill the rest of that out. I <laughs> still need to go a little bit more. Now you can see we have the hole drilled all the way through. It looks like that's a little bit off center. I'm not sure if that'll work but I think the gear's working pretty well. We're probably gonna end up picking, picking up some other gears, but it seems like fly cutting is just hard on those gears and you wanna be careful if you're gonna be doing that. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.